Hi, I'm Suzanne Jackson. I'm president of the Métis Nation of Ontario Women's Council. I'm coming to you from the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee in Treaty 3. The MNOWC is tasked with promoting women's issues and advocating on behalf of women within the Métis Nation of Ontario. We also advise the PCMNO on matters pertaining to women, as well as working with community councils, Aboriginal boards, government bodies and women's groups to assist Métis people with issues of concern specific to women. This work includes policy development and review, coordination, consultation and education. We aspire to promote Métis culture, language, history, values, traditions, healthy families and communities. We strive to help each woman achieve personal goals and aspirations and to positively affect change in themselves and others. This year has been a particularly challenging yet rewarding one for the MNOWC. We saw the election of our current council in November of 2020. With this election, we bid a fond farewell to longtime appointed spokesperson Sharon Cadeau. In four of the nine regions, there was more than one candidate, which was exciting for us to see that there are women who want to be involved in this work and, and the efforts moving forward. With the other five regions all being acclaimed, so we do have a full complement of MNOWC Council. The women have all been actively participating in preparing and distributing personal protection equipment to citizens throughout the province as well as supporting and giving direction on assistance routes and availability. March of this year, we saw 64 MNO women gather for a one day full virtual meeting, which we entitled Celebrating Community Ties. At that meeting, we heard from LFMO President Melanie Omenaho and Senior Political Advisor Lisa Piju as they presented the LFMO GBA Plus Toolkit. MNO staff Wendy Stewart presented COVID and mental health strategies. MNO women veterans Shelley Claus, Charlene Lance, Lisa Tessier spoke to us about their military experience. Benny Michaud provided remarks on the 2SLGBTQ identity and the 2SLGBTQ working group. Women also participated in two workshops throughout the day. MNOWC was launched and developed, has launched and developed our own website, which is MNOWC.com. It includes our terms of reference, governance policies, leadership toolbox, guidelines for our MNOWC Women Honoring Women Award and our recently developed and always changing and, and moving forward roles and responsibilities. We've adopted our own code of conduct complete with a procedures process if the code is broken. MNOWC has attended and, and contributed to national meetings pertaining to Métis-specific missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Two of our MNOWC women attended the virtual She Is Wise conference and the MNOWC has representation and is a contributing member of the She Is Wise Project Advisory Committee. In a year when there's been so much uncertainty and unforeseen levels of stress, MNO women throughout the province have stepped up and done what's needed to not just carry on, but to help others. The stories of our ancestors remind us that we are a resilient people. This past year, we've contributed to that story. I'm constantly in, in awe and humbled at the depth of human kindness that's being shown one to another. I've seen firsthand as those who have little have reached out and helped wherever, whenever, and however they could. We have strong Métis women who have accepted calls to represent in their local community council area. And without knowing exactly what to do, they just started doing good things. Our voices are being raised. Our thoughts and concerns are being expressed. 
our time to lead truly is here. We look forward to the journey before us with hope, determination, and a passion to ensure that those who we pass our paddles and our sacred bundles of knowledge, they will be equipped with our history to carry on and further excel and succeed in this work. Thank you and have a great AGA.